What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Taylor and today we are starting a new series called Rank That Recto. Now, not all the time, but most of the time when I'm doing gear reviews on my channel, it is some sort of modeler or some sort of amplifier emulation. So my patrons and I came up with this idea to sort of have a baseline for all of these different reviews on amp sims and emulations and all that stuff. And we decided that the rectifier was the go-to amp to be comparing all of these different units. Because if any of these units want to have great high gain tone, then the rectifier should sort of be the bar for the minimum emulation that you should be able to recreate accurately in my opinion and that of my patrons at least. Okay, so this first episode of Rank That Recto is looking at an actual dual rectifier solo head. This is probably revision G, and this is gonna be the baseline for all of the comparisons moving forward. We are on the red channel that is set to modern. We are using six L6s inside of the rectifier. Everything is at noon, and this is what it sounds like. Sounds pretty awesome. We are both miking this cabinet with an SM57, as well as capturing the signal coming directly out of the amplifier with a two notes torpedo. It's back here, you probably can't see it. And that way we can throw some different IRs on this demo. I will put those in text at the bottom of the screen now. We almost really don't need to though. By the way, if you're wondering, that is a noise gate up there. It's not really doing anything to the tone. The tone is all coming from the amp at this point, but we will plug in a boost here in a minute. Maybe we'll try a couple different ones. Okay, let's dial this in a little bit. So these are pretty boomy. If you dial back this bass here just a little bit and maybe cut back on the presence to get rid of some of that hiss in the top end, let's boost the mids and uh, we'll boost the treble to maybe about there. Ah oh man, it just sounds killer. So one of the interesting things about the tone stack in this amplifier that I've noticed is you get a very different treble sound at two o'clock versus like 100%. Here, I'll show you. Versus two o'clock-ish, one o'clock, I don't know, whatever. Right about there. And I much preferred in that two o'clock position, you still get a lot of treble, but it's less like hissy and scooped sounding. To me, it sounds more like a mid treble bump than just like a straight treble bump. So I think it sounds much better in that position. And if you have a really fizzy recto that's missing those high mids, maybe dialing that treble knob back will help you out a little bit. Now maybe this is the end of your tone quest. I would certainly be happy with the way that this amp is dialed in and the way that everything sounds so far, but um, let's put a boost in it and see what kind of different variations we can get with a boost in front. We'll hook that up now. This is the Electric Eye Mud Killer, and the reason it's a great boost pedal for a Mesa Dual Rectifier is, as the name implies, it kind of does exactly what we want it to do with the Dual Rectifier, which is just sort of tame that low end. I have it set up pretty much the same way that I would set up a Tube Screamers boost with the pre-gain at zero, the tone just at about like one o'clock, a little past noon, and the post gain all the way up. We have the compression on, and let's set the low cut right about there and see what that does. So one of the things that I like to do is actually um, do a little bit of a cut like that and then actually turn up the bass on the amplifier and I think you get some pretty cool results that way. Let's turn up the mids here a little bit too. Uh, put that treble back in the sweet spot, cut back on that presence and we'll just kick this gain up a hair. <laughs> A 
Like you can see, it just dramatically tightens up this amp and really makes those palm mutes super tight. <laughs> Big, big difference. I want to throw one more boost on this guy, and that is the Fortin Grind. All right, we have the Fortin Grind hooked up, and this is a pedal that doesn't really like to stand on top of an amplifier. Maybe that's why you always see people hanging it off the front of their amps like this. But who cares how well it stands up on its own? Let's hear what it sounds like. We have it turned on, and I like to set it right about there. Let's see what that does. I'll show you what it sounds like up all the way just for reference. Boosting it all the way is just a little too much in my opinion and uh, like I said, I like to set it just about there. Let's hear the difference with it on and off. So this is what it sounds like with it off. So the Fortin Grind also does a really great job of cleaning up the low end, and I think one of the things that people really appreciate about the grind, I mean, I certainly appreciate about it, is it just has one big knob, so it's pretty easy to dial in, you know, you just turn it on, figure out where you like it set, and then you're good to go with it. However, when you compare it to something like the Mud Killer, where you have a little bit more control over the drive and the sound that's coming out of the drive, you can get a little bit more variation out of it. And one of the things about these 33 volt boost pedals is they do add this very like specific ice picky sort of frequency, and maybe that's not something you like. Or maybe you're playing in a higher tuning and it's adding sort of like an undesirable effect, especially when you hit the treble strings on your guitar you might want to stick with something like a Tube Screamer or even the Mud Killer back there. All right. But this pedal definitely does add something special to the dual rectifier and really make it just tight and brutal and uh, really fun to play. All right guys, so since this is the real dual rectifier, this will be the baseline moving forward for everything that I review on Rank That Recto. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.